Epigram Film and TV went to Watershed to talk to Fia Berry about her ongoing Reclaiming the Witch season. Can you tell us about the inspiration behind Reclaiming the Witch? Um, so I rewatched uh, The Witches of Eastwick, uh, a film that I'd seen as a kid, probably a bit too young to have seen it when I saw it. But I saw it, I watched it again until around Christmas, and I thought it's uh, quite a complex film in some ways and is so outlandishly garish and so much fun and I thought that's a really fascinating character to observe and I think especially in today's political climate, uh, most particularly in the States with Me Too and Time's Up and with sort of the Trump administration and most recently with Brett Kavanaugh being um, nominated for, yeah, for <laughs> Supreme Court Justice. Um, after which, you know, there were people who hexed him and would go to Trump's inauguration and, and witches who would hex him. And I thought that's a really fascinating thing, that, that women who were classed as witches and it was something, you know, all that was saying in witch trials and not just there, but across Europe as well. And sort of these hundreds of thousands of women who were killed um, for just, I don't know, for sort of being the embodiment of sort of misogy misogynistic anxieties around women who, um, maybe our positions of power, like with Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. um, you know, being branded the Wicked Witch of the Left, or um, or when Margaret Thatcher died and Ding Dong the Witch is Dead got to number two in the UK charts. So although those things, I think, have an edge of sort of quite tongue-in-cheek, it's really fascinating about why this character on film, and so much of this from of, uh, sort of family films, mm -hmm. that's why I selected four family films for the season, is that it's really instilled into us from quite a young age, you know, lots of Disney films, The Witch is the Antagonist, and you go back to Brothers Grimm and so many fairy tales. Um, it's, you know, why, why this character now is being reclaimed as this, this sort of feminist icon of rebel and fighting for social justice and um, socialist causes against capitalism and all this kind of stuff. And I think there's so much to unpick in a time when I think young people are really politically engaged um, and sort of answering back for what's wrong uh, in the world. And how can people get involved with the season over the next month? So this weekend, um, it's on the, the 3rd of November, that's when the first screening is and that's Wizard of Oz and I will be introducing that. And then on the Sunday, um, we've got quite a packed day, the, the Sunday brunch slot, we've got The Witches, so it's the great Roald Dahl. Um, adaptation by Nick Rogue, who did Man Who Fell to Earth and Don't Look Now. Um, and then following that, we've got a panel discussion, uh, which Tara Ju Judah will be chairing. And we've got three amazing guests um, Dr. Shelley Cobb from um, Southampton University, um, Kelly Weston, who's from Burbeck, and she um, is a writer for Sight and Sound as well. And then also uh, Anna Bogatskaya, who's part of The Final Girls, who are a film collective who focus on the relationship between feminism and horror films and they've come and done a few things at Watershed before so that'll be a really interesting um, hour-long um, discussion about the witch on screen and in the films that we're going to be screening but also outside of that as well and then in the afternoon um, there's a screening of uh, Robert Eggers uh, The Witch which came about in 2015 and then the following Sunday we've got um, I'm Not a Witch which also Africa Eye Film Festival is going that weekend then there's Kiki Delivery Service. And on the last weekend, we've got three films. Um, Anna Biller's The Love Witch, which is a really amazing, beautifully stylized and shot film. And then I'll be introducing Witch of the Beast Week. And the following Sunday, the 25th, we're finishing with Bell, Book and Candle um, with Jimmy Stewart and Kim Novak. Oh, fantastic. And uh, on a wider note, mm -hmm. um, what advice would you give to undergraduate students uh, and how to get involved with, with film and curation? So that's all the question that I really ask myself as well. And this course has really, you know, opened the door for me and the support here from Mark and Tara and the entire Watershed team is, it's been really great and I've been able to meet so many people. And so I would just suggest when you come to events, Watershed, the film events, just go and talk to people. I know networking is a really horrible, cringy activity, but it's really, really useful and you can have some really interesting conversations with people. You never know who you're going to meet.